find that these cars, I suppose because they're small, the batteries are always located so close to the bodywork and all the electrics and the fuel are just all just so close together. That one out. I'll go and get the other battery now. I have to climb over. something disconnected there but no it's it's, it's okay if this doesn't work I suspect it's something in the control box do this one-handed. That's the battery in. So let's see if this thing will start. I just realised I hadn't put the seat in. Okay. Yes, sounds promising. Oh, what a tease. Come on, scooter car, you're just teasing me now. Well, I don't know what, how much you can see, but there's just oil everywhere. I don't know where it's coming from. It's, um, as you know, I've put that uh, modified exhaust louder than ever. So I think it'll be a case of having to tighten a few things up, especially this uh, here, because I can see there's something, oil is pouring out, of, I don't know where it's coming from, this oil, pouring out of there, so I'll, I'll just turn the fuel off. Oh dear, oh, let's turn the ignition off. Well, it starts. Yeah, it actually starts and it, all it was was the battery. I don't know if you remember in the last video when I just put the exhaust on. So you can't, can't see me. Sorry about the lighting here, folks. So is that a bit, bit better? So as I was saying, yeah, in the last video when I put the exhaust on, it wouldn't start. And all it was was the, was the battery, even though the uh, charger diode said it was fully charged. So just go to see, you can't always trust the electronic stuff. And uh, so it looks like I'll have to get another battery for the Messerschmitt because this battery, the scooter car battery was on charge, had been on charge overnight. 
So new battery is required and uh, another look at this exhaust to uh, get and uh, see you in another video. Thanks again. Bye.